hi uh, welcome everyone today we are doing a new type of graph that can help you to estimate uh, quantile regressions for that we call it quantile wise correlation plot so first of all if you find that there are correlations between the independent and dependent variable are different within the quantiles then it will suggest that you have to estimate the quantile wise regression and and that's this will add in the descriptive statistics so first of all before for that we need to read the following libraries so first is to read excel file then quantile regression tidyverse for data management stats for descriptive stats and since my data is a panel data so it's plm and then past text for detailed descriptive stats so when i read it it is done by control plus enter so all the libraries are read are being loaded like this and then I, I will set the working directory so that any table or graph that I make it will be stored in that library then I will read the data file so when I press control enter it will be read so this data file is a panel data of GDP and inflation for whole world so it's a big data set so first of all I will clean the missing values so for that it is uh, filter is dot na so if I when I do it it will remove the missing values from the data file for these two variables because I'm using these two then I have to declare the data file as a panel data so df.pd is a new name panel data dot frame data file and index so when I do it it will make a new data file and and now you can see the difference here the the cross-section identifier are here so it means as compared to this file so it means panel data will know how many cross-sections are there and how many years are there then we'll load this library to generate the correlation correlation values for each cross-section cross so this library when read it will help you as to read then we'll create a new uh, one loop that is it will start from 0 0.05 to 0 0.95 and it, it will grow by 0 0.05 so it will create a number line from 0 0.05 to uh, 0.95 19 values then it will calculate use this value as tau is equal to tau so it will calculate the correlation between gdp and inflation cpi for 19 times for each quantile so 0 0.05 is a so there are 19 quantiles so if i open it here so these are numbers in the background so i can just use the library like car library and so that i can make a scatter plot so the scatter plot is uh, you see the, my x-axis will be the uh, the values of uh, uh, tau the the quantile values and the y-axis value is the value of rho which are the correlation values and I am not sh showing the regression line I am not showing the uh, confidence intervals the y labels are uh, quantile correlations and x labels are quantile number and I don't need the box plots on x and y-axis so when I do this so this is showing that with the increase in the quantile the correlation values are also changing and the correlations are high in the center and low at the ends so this shows that the, the when uh, at the middle of the data set the, the, the association between GDP and inflation are higher so this way you can uh, get the correlation for each number so, thank you. so the, this will help you to get, generate uh, statistics to prove that there is a need of doing a quantile regression rather than the, the simple OLS because uh, simple OLS assumes that correlation remains the same but here it is changing so thank you very much for watching do subscribe and like the video